Here's why leap years exist. 2024 is a leap year, which means it has a February 29th, a day that only occurs once every four years. Here's why we do this. The Earth takes 365.24219 days to travel around the Sun. That extra 0.24219 days may seem small, but calendars only have 365 days. That means that every year we get just a little knocked off the timing of the seasons by about six hours every year. So to prevent Halloween from happening in, say, the middle of winter, we add a leap day every four years. This allows farmers to set regular days for sowing the fields and harvesting the crops, and it helps everyone else have regular seasons. And for those born in a leap year, many just celebrate it every year on February 28th or on March 1st. We have Julius Caesar and his Julian calendar to thank for the leap day, starting in 45 BC. But even with the addition of leap years, the calendar still isn't perfectly aligned with the Earth's orbit around the sun. In 1582, people began to notice that the calendar was off by 10 days. That's when Pope Gregory XIII established the Gregorian calendar and deleted three leap days every 400 years. That's why there was no leap day in 1700, 1800, and 1900, but there was one in 2000. Remember the millennium? And there won't be one in 2100. One curious tradition that developed in the 20th century is the idea that during a leap year, a woman is allowed to ask a man to marry her. For more on that, check out our other explainer on leap years and gender roles.